Jessie here from Women's App Workout, and I just wanted to take a brief second to talk to you about the importance of really listening to your body. Um, if you may not be able to tell, my voice is a little bit raspy this morning. I'm battling something. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Um, it's a combination between a cold, some allergies, a raspy throat. I don't know. But this is when it's super important to listen to what your body's telling you. And the only thing I can figure out that out right now is that I've probably been pushing myself a little bit too hard, which is why my body's starting to feel like this. Bits and pieces of it are starting to feel run down. I'm tired. I could honestly go to bed every night at like 6 o'clock. I don't have the energy to work out, or I don't have the desire, and I have a cold, kind of, my voice is scratchy. This are signs that really I need to just slow down. So today I was going to go to the gym. Instead, I took some time to make some videos. I still got a bit of a workout in. It's not nearly as hard as if I were at the gym, but it's still a little bit of something. If anything, I probably should have done nothing for the simple fact that my body is telling me that I need to take a break. And that's what's something that's really important that you need to do and make sure you're doing when you're trying to reach your fitness goals. You need to listen to your body. If there's a day that you're super exhausted and your body just feels run down, then maybe that's a day you say to yourself that you shouldn't go to the gym. However, you don't want this to become an excuse. There's a difference between feeling run down, exhausted, and there's t just tired from a long day of work. Understand and really listen. Take a minute to stop and think to yourself, okay, if I go do this workout right now, am I going to push myself to the limit and get sick? Or am I going to make myself feel better and get myself closer to reaching my goals? I'm totally an advocate for going to the gym. However, there are times when we really need to stop and listen to what our body's telling us to do to make sure that we don't pull our, push ourselves too far and get sick and then run down so that we can't go to the gym for an extended period of time. So, before you head to the gym today, if you're not feeling 100%, listen to yourself. Stop, take a minute, how do I feel? But make sure it's not an excuse feel that, oh, I'm just tired, and that's why you're not going to the gym. Think to yourself, hmm, am I really tired, or do I just not want to go? I guarantee you by the time you get there, if it's a, I just don't want to go, you're going to feel a lot better. But if it's a rundown, you may feel more tired. So today's message, just make sure you listen to your body, what it's telling you to do, the types of food it needs to eat, as far as are you not eating enough. <coughs> so the message for today, just make sure you're listening to your body. If you're feeling tired and run down, maybe you shouldn't go to the gym, but really reflect and take a minute to see how you feel so that your excuse for not missing the gym today isn't one that you're tired just because you don't feel like going, it's a tired because your body really is run down. So, that's it for this morning. Make sure you hit subscribe above and so you stay up to date with all the latest and greatest videos here from Women's App Workout. It was great talking to you and I will see you next time.